Hello, it's Jeanette with Geo Amazing Paper Crafts. Thank you once again for joining me for another video tutorial. Today I have a envelope card combination. It's a cash envelope uh, card for your graduate. Okay, your 2016 graduate. Now I came up with this card kind of in a hurry. Um, uh, something similar because my husband uh, was collecting some money for one of his uh, workmates that is going through some chemotherapy treatment. He's been out of work for a while and he had a whole big wad of cash and says, I need an envelope and I need a card and I need it now. So I just kind of uh, brainstormed and put this card together, but I thought it would really make a nice little cash card for your graduate. So I'm going to show you how I put this together using the gift bag punch board. Okay, so let's get started. I will be right back. Okay, so what we're going to need is a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half by eleven. Okay, and I have crumb cake here, and uh, you're going to use this whole sheet. I'll show you how I use the whole sheet. Now I'm going to bring in my simply scored scoring tool, and now on the long side, you are going to be scoring it at two and one eighth of an inch. Okay, and if you flip it over and uh, do it on the long side again, do it again at two and one eighth of an inch. Okay, and then on the short side, you're going to do it at two and a half inches. Okay, and then flip it around and do it at two and a half inches again. Okay, there you go. Put the scoring tool away, and now you're going to bring out your uh, gift bag punch board. Okay, now the gift bag punch board, yours is probably going to be gray if you got it from Stampin' Up. Um, there is this little tab right here, okay, this little tab right here, and that line, yours will probably be gray if you have Stampin' Ups. Um, you're going to line up your score line. You see the score line right here. You're going to line up the score line and every score line you are going to punch. You're not going to do any more scoring. You're just going to punch. So I'm going to do that with every score line along the, the um, on all on all four sides of this piece of paper. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of these. And we're done with our gift bag punch board. And I'm going to take my paper snips. And I'm not going to be um, burnishing and folding just yet. Um, because I'm going to be cutting off all of these squares right um, at that score line here. Okay, and you do not want to throw these squares away because you're going to be using those. Okay, all right, and you will be using those later, so don't throw them out. All right, now we can um, fold and burnish our score lines, and I'm going to use my bone folder for that. Before I um, take this together, I'm going to try to do a background here. Um, and um, since I'm going to be trying to match some new paper, um, this is my belly band. And this piece measures one and a half inches by eight inches. And this comes from a new stack. And that stack is called, if I can remember, um, okay, it's called Affectionately Yours. Okay. And I have to show you this paper. It is so pretty. Um, this is like a shiny foil sheet, and it only is is printed on the one side. And this is colorful with some foil on it. And then you've got some smaller prints. And I think that's what I, I really liked about this. Um, is uh, 
that <clears throat> none of the prints are really really big they're really they're small and um, and kind of repetitive uh, kind of like our smaller DSP stacks so you're gonna love this paper uh, it doesn't have any of the new colors on it ex um, no I don't think it, it does but it does have some of the in colors uh, that expire next year okay so anyway let's get <laughs> let's keep going here okay so um, I want to just decorate this with some speckles like you see on this paper here see all these little yellow speckles now it's not going to show up too much because this isn't pigment ink this is just regular um, dye ink uh, it has sort of a water base but what I'm going to be using is uh, this little uh, it's it's kind of like a little um, speckly mm, I don't know what you would call that right here and that's from the number of years stamp set um, I want to say that it's kind of like a um, confetti or something um, but I'm just going to go ahead and just randomly stamp um, on this envelope in the background I'm, I don't really care if I'm going off um, it's just to give it a little bit of uh, color in the background um, and like I said if this was a pigment ink it would show up a little bit more Like I said, it's just random. You can, you know, be precise if you want. And the color that I'm using is Daffodil Delight because that is the color in that little strip of designer series paper that I'm going to be using for the belly band. Okay. Okay. We are just about done here. All right. I think that's good enough. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and, um, and tape this together. And it doesn't really matter which side you're gonna, but you're gonna fold the two smaller flaps in, okay? And you see, I just kind of want to eyeball it right there. I'm gonna use some fast fuse, and all I need to do is just—that's not fast fuse. All I need to do is just put some fast fuse right here on the tops, okay? Just right here. Okay, and then we're folding. Okay, and then you can go ahead and fill it with cash because it's a perfect size for cash. All right, now, um, like I said, you don't want you didn't want to throw those away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my cucumber crush ink, and I'm going to be using uh, some of the numbers from in here. I'm going to also be cutting them out with the framelits uh, called large number framelits. Okay, and so what I'll do is I will take the two from here. Oops, I just got some ink on my hands. Taking the two out and I'm placing it on my block. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this two right here okay you can use your um, what is this thing called your paper piercing mat will, will help you uh, stamp this let me use it because it has a little bit more gush on it and and um, it's just it's just going to be more helpful Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the other side of this only because I didn't get it all. And let me do that a little bit better. And got to ink it up really good in this cucumber crush, which is a bright, bright green. Okay. Uh, I don't know I think I probably did it better on the other side okay the next number that you're going to use is the zero and that's this one here because you want 2016 or whatever year they graduated which hopefully is this year okay and I'm going to just do the zero here all right and then take that off I'll clean my stamps later and then you want to do the one there's the 
the one. Okay. All right. Okay. And then now, if you have the Stampin' Right uh, markers for the um, for the in colors for last year, you you could do that. You could do a little bit of filling in if you want to. Okay. And the last number is a six. Now that six can also be used as a nine. I was looking for the nine. I'm thinking, oh, there it is. It's a six and a nine. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have another piece of of uh, cardstock here that I'm going to be. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, all right. This is my six. Okay, there we go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the framelits from the number, um, the large numbers framelit dies. Okay, I'm going to take those and I am going to um, just go ahead and cut them out on my on my big shot. I'm going to be using my magnetic platform for this. Uh, I won't bring the big shot in. Is it so big and bulky? I don't have a lot of room in my film area for it. Uh, so basically, that's what I'm going to do. Um, putting it on the magnetic platform. Okay. See, this is the magnetic platform here, and this is the, one of the plates, my very well loved plates. And that's what I'll do. I'm just going to go ahead and cut them all out, and I will be right back. Okay, so here I have 2016, okay, and I'm going to bring in my card, and um, what I think I'm going to do is also bring in my silicone craft sheet, and I'm going to put some uh, adhesive on the backs of these, and um, you can use Tombow Mono adhesive if you want to. I think what I'm going to do is use snail and you kind of have to cover it really good because um, you don't want the uh, you don't want the numbers to pull off with your belly band. Okay so oh, be very careful. I'm going to do the two first. Okay. All right we're putting the two and I kind of like to to put them like Kind of slanted a little bit, okay. Two, oh, got a little bit too much glue on there, and you want that zero here, okay. And then on the other side, I'm going to start with the six. Oops. sure I'm in camera here. Okay, I'm starting with the six here, and I cut it a little bit off, but that's okay. Um, we'll be all right with that. And try to get it the same height as this two, and then when you go into do the one, it's kind of the same height there. So it's a little bit whimsical. Okay, now you've got your belly band here. Okay, and um, uh, what I would suggest is put money in here first. Put all the money that you have in there. Now, what I like to do with my grads, uh, especially if they're family, and I might give them up like $50 or something, I like to put a lot of ones and then stick like a five. So, in other words, I put five ones and then put a five, and then five ones and then put a 10, and then five ones and put a 20, so that they have to count it out <laughs> and they get surprised as they're going along. It's not just all singles. So anyway, I like to do that with my family uh, when there's a graduation. Um, okay, so let's let's stuff this with some, some cash. I don't have a lot of ones there. Okay, so that's how much cash I'm going to be putting, giving them. So now I am going to take my belly band and try to make it not too too snug but snug enough so that it's not going to slip off okay so all right and then just put a pe a little strip of fast fuse on the one side and fold it over okay 
like that. All right, and now I'm going to take a piece of cucumber crush and I'm going to place it right here. I know it's covering the numbers just a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm going to uh, adhere that with a little bit of fast fuse on the belly band. Okay, and I'm going to do it just like that right in the center. Okay, and then um, I'm going to take some. Daffodil Delight and my Cucumber Crush. Oh, there's something that I forgot to do. Let's take this belly band off. Um, what I forgot to do is stamp the inside of this, okay? And what I'm going to stamp it with is the Cucumber Crush, and I'm going to use the stamp set BYOP. Bring your, buy your own present, okay? Um, you can use this even if you get a, a gift card, but since I'm putting cash in this envelope, um, I'm going to put, um, it, it's, since it's a photopolymer, I can see right through it. So if my head gets in the way, I'm sorry. But I want to kind of get right on top of it in the middle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now on the other side of this is the, um, the saying, um, buy your own present. Okay. And then I'm going to just put that underneath here. Uh, just like that. And then I'll just sign my name somewhere in here. Oh. Okay, and then I'll put the belly band back on. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right, and now let's take some Daffodil Delight. And we're going to take um, the, uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, from this... BYOP is congratulations grad and I'm just going to set this right here and put it right here oops let me bring in my my gushy pad my paper piercing pad okay and then I'm going to be cutting that out using the um, where is it here? I'm going to be using uh, this tag from the tags and labels framelits. I'm going to be using this one, which is the one two. It's the third largest, I think. Let me see. Uh, one two. No, it's the fourth largest. Okay, so I'm just going to take this to the big shot, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's close this up. All right, and now with some Stampin' Dimensionals, I will, let me find my Stampin' Dimensionals and bring them with me. I'm going to raise this up here with a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to put three and Now this would be kind of a cool card if you like do it with their school colors. I'll set that right there. Okay. And so there you have it. Nice little cash card, gift card for your grad this year. So I hope you try this. If you need any of the supplies or the tools that I use in this video, please go to my website at uh, www.geoamazingpapercrafts.stampinup.net and I'll be happy to help you out with any of the supplies that, that you need for this project. Um, so once again, I am Jeanette with Geoamazing Papercrafts and you make it a great day. Bye-bye.